Hey guys, how's it going? It's Lord Creep here, and today I've got for you a modern house and my single player. I built it a couple weeks ago, and I could pretty much say this is probably one of the most different, I could say, modern houses that I've built than what I normally build. Because, well, I typically don't build like this. This is very sleek compared to what I normally build. Ooh. Is there about that? And, and we're back. Sorry about that. <laughs> My macro is having a little bit of issues. So, back and we're looking at the house. I'm just taking a little spin around here so you guys can get an idea of what to look at. Right now we're just passing by the front. It's special, it's a little sleek. I didn't use crazy shapes like I normally do. I'll put a link to my Planet Minecraft so you guys can see just the crap that I normally build. Well, I wouldn't call it crap, but some people like it. And we're going back around to the side. Alright, well, let's get started going on inside. Oh, and the texture pack I'm currently using is Flows HD. So if you don't know about Flows, then you probably shouldn't be building a modern house. I'm kidding. There's other good modern packs out there, but I'll probably have a link to Flows in the description so that you guys can check it out. And, well, let's get started. So, we walk on in the front door and we've got a stereo right here off to the corner with our beautiful glass window. And of course you've got a couch right here. And it's some sort of strange, well I wouldn't call it strange, I'd call it ultra modern fireplace. Because it's not typical of what you would normally see in a house. I thought it was kind of cool and get your little guardrail right here. That way you don't get burned, but... You do have a little bit of trouble getting the logs in, I'd probably say, unless you like squeeze your hand through there. And of course you got the bush in the corner. Bannister up top with a couple flowers. Some storage. Then up here we've got a skylight. Um I'm not sure what I call this. I I guess you could call it a chandelier lighting design detail. It's just something I found cool, so I thought, hey, throw it in there. Just got a painting coming out here. We got a little bit of decorational sugar canes in there. And <laughs> just bushes galore and a lamp. So, you head over here into the kitchen, and we have a refrigerator made by Fridge Company circa 2007. And... Of course, we have the regular kitchen stuff, which would be cabinets, you know, a dining room table, coffee maker, sink, and of course your stove. So yeah, I think this is a pretty much a roomy kitchen, you know, so you know, you come over here, cook your stuff, wash your hands, prepare the food, place the food. You just kind of sort of gravitate over this way. I don't think it's too complex. Hmm. And you got the acacia wood floor. I thought it was kind of cool, so I kind of put that in. Alright, next room. So, Nicole, we here to the first bedroom. Where we've got a pretty much awesome black bed. Lamp. Old school TV with the shelving system over here. Then we head over here to the bathroom. In the bathroom, as soon as we walk in, we see the toilet paper dispenser. And the toilet itself, the flushing button. And of course, you get the medicine cabinets, the sink with the two side mirrors, and of course, a bush. I don't know why I've been obsessed lately with bushes. You know what? I don't know why this doesn't have a sign. That's weird. But, so yeah, we turn around, we get the shower that 
coincidentally matches the floor. Ooh. Okay. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for the bathroom other than the shampoo bottle right there. So, now we're going to head out to the awesome balcony that you guys saw when I started the video. Over here we get to see this awesome greenery area other than the, how would you say, uh, the view, the ocean view? <laughs> so you could just lay down here in your little chairs and just relax, soak in some rays. Or you could come out here with your friends, you know, uh, play cards or whatever. I think it's very relaxing, even though I don't even live anywhere near the ocean. I think it's relaxing. Then we come over here into the second bedroom. In this room, we pretty much have, well, a smaller bedroom, of course. It's got a shelving area here, a lamp. This could either be a painting or a TV, whichever your imagination wishes to call it. Computer. And, of course, the bed itself and a bush in a corner. It's probably something I'm going to be known for, a bush in the corner. <laughs> well, a little bit like Corrales, too. So, if we walk down, and here we've got a typical couch with a sexy, sleek, modern table. Got a shelving up there. Lamp. Skylight. Skylight's for days in this house, but, yeah. Skull. So you can pretty much just sit here, hang out, I suppose. And of course, back here you've got the bathroom. This is where you would wash your hands. Here's the mirror. And of course, you would probably store a little bit of stuff down there or behind here in the medicine cabinet. Got the super sexy toilet here. And of course, the shower. And this is probably where you would store your soap and the soap dishes right here. And no, I'm not a hacker. These are snow layered floors, if you guys can't tell. So, we head over here into the final room. This is what I would I guess I would call it the laundry room. And this is where one would do their laundry. And also pretty much store waste. Well not store, this is where you put it before you would get rid of it. So in these bins, color coded bins, you would have put your metal waste in here, your recyclables like cardboard, glass, plastic, you know, all that stuff. This is where you put your organics, which is pretty much food. We got a little bit of shelving to store some tools or whatever. And this is where the ladder is if you ever need to get up on the house or you get up on anything, I suppose. And of course, this is the laundry unit itself and the dryer. And these right here are towel racks. And of course, light bush windows. So now we step out on the back balcony. And this is actually where I started the house. I left this part open right here just in case you wanted to hop in the water. Go for a swim. So yeah. That's pretty much the house. It doesn't have a name, unfortunately. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, make sure to hit that like button. Tell your friends. Tell them to subscribe because I will be bringing more content as soon as possible. And... If you didn't like the house, also let me know because feedback, again, is very, very important at this current time since I'm just starting out. And thanks for watching.